What's up, guys? And we're going to go over Viva Engage, what it is, how you can use it, if it's even a new application, and then some use cases within your in, uh, environment, within your organization. So stay tuned, and I will get to that right over this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share the environment that I am uh, working in. And so within this environment, you'll see I have Microsoft Teams open. So a lot of people kind of don't understand the difference between Microsoft Yammer and Microsoft Teams. We always got a, little, a lot of questions around that to say, what's the difference? Why should I care? And then what should go where? Now, I know what you're asking me. Roy, you said this video was about Viva Engage. What does it have to do with Yammer? And that's a great question. Yammer and Viva Engage are essentially the same thing. So it is really just a rebrand here that is going on where Microsoft is trying to package the Viva environment and sell it to you at a premium and in doing so they have rebranded some of their tools to kind of uh, turn them into part of the viva package i know that doesn't seem very fun and an exciting way to start a video but that is the way uh, microsoft has chosen to go about viva engage so some of you may have had communities pinned to your microsoft teams environment prior to and you've seen that communities tag on your sidebar of your Microsoft Teams environment. You've seen communities, which used to be called Yammer. So Yammer turned to communities. Communities has turned to Viva Engage. Are you following me so far? <laughs> I hope so. Let's get back into the shared screen. So here I am in the Microsoft Teams environment. And so what I mean by that is this three little dots, if we click the three dots and then we type in Engage, if I get spell, Viva Engage, there it is. And so this Viva Engage used to pop up as communities. And so you'll see here where it says you can connect with leaders and coworkers, join communities, there's that word again, and share your story. And so this is really just the biggest rebrand probably that Microsoft's done in quite some time because the functionality of Viva Engage hasn't changed since the name it's just yammer so there really is no new things that you can really do inside the platform this is they did the same thing with insights so if you remember that insights um, used to be called like my analytics i think is what it was called and so now they just changed it to viva insights so they're just kind of rebranding everything this is the most recent one, it's the biggest one since viva insights viva insights is really just like a newsletter that you get i guess around what it is that you're doing and then you can take a look at some of the things that you're doing on a daily basis who you're communicating with how you're collaborating that's fun stuff it's kind of like the the starting point of viva and so I guess they're trying to package some of these free ways of working within the Viva platform because the Viva license does cost $4 per user for some of the new tools, which we go over in, in another video. I talk about them. But here in Viva Engage, we ha have communities. And so these communities are actually just your Yammer communities, which this is a, a, uh, a demo environment. But if I wanted to name one, we'll just call this Demo Community. And then we can add a description. We can add members, which I'm um, the mod administrator. I always like to, uh, let's see, who's who do we got in here? No Ashley, huh? There's never an Ashley. Who do we got? Well, I'll just add myself. How about that? That'll be fun. So we go to the public settings. So we're going to make this public. Anyone in your network can view and join this community. We're going to create it. And it's just going to be Yammer. So we have the info for your community. You can pin any files or links. 
You have the multiple ways that you can post. You have discussion, which is just you know sharing your thoughts and ideas. Hi, everyone. You can add specific members to this or uh, just post. You can make it an announcement. Uh, you can change it to a question. You add bold, all this other fun stuff. You got images and GIFs. I always like to add GIFs. Let's, uh, let's add a little dancing cat for Friday and then post it. Then we can add, ask a question so we can say, hi, what is engage? Add people again if we wanted to, but we can just ask the community. And we have two other options. One would be a praise where we can say like, what it is they did? What did they do? Do they, are they a champion? Um, they did something. And then you would have to put who you praise. Now, I'm the only one in this group, so I'm going to kind of praise myself. And then the last one is a poll where you can ask questions and, uh, and, and, and get feedback from members, right? So, again, this is uh, pretty, uh, pretty much the exact same thing as... as as yammer it's the same thing so i know that yammer got a lot of views on my on our page it's it's our top uh it's our top video actually on our youtube and so within that i was like well you know i don't want that video to just to, to, to go away <laughs> but at the same time is it applicable anymore you know i don't even know because this viva engage kind of seems like it might not be but the uh the answer is it is so the Viva Engage is just a rebranded Yammer. So how do you use this? Well, uh, great question. And so uh, with that, the, the answer to that is you want to create an environment outside of Microsoft Teams where members can communicate on non-work related items. So like, I am sitting here working next to me. My cats are fighting, right? So that there area, this chair next to me is Viva Engage. My chair is Microsoft Teams. If I wanted to join in on the cat fight, then I would go sit in that chair maybe. And, and you know what I mean? I'm keeping things separate. And so the way that you do that here in your Microsoft 365 environment is in Microsoft Teams, you have Teams. So you have your... Uh, sales team, you have your Contoso, you have your knowledge share, and these should be your professional working environment. These are areas that you're sharing documents with. These are areas that you are collaborating on. These are areas that you don't want to distract people with uh, lots of memes or, or baby shower discussions or end of year parties, those sorts of things. I'll give you an ex a really good example of how our organization used uh, Viva is that, and I'll, I'll we'll walk through it together. So if we go here into Viva Engage, now we had it as a Yammer community. And so let's say that you have a end of year party coming up. Uh, maybe it's a, a chant, we'll call it a, you know, President's Club. And so this is a club trip that only certain members are invited to. And so you don't want to like upset anybody by them, you know, not being able to see uh, you know, they're, you don't want to, to, to show off pictures and all that other stuff. So you invite certain members to this uh, group uh, that will only have access to the, uh, the, the team. So the, you wouldn't have people who aren't part of the President's Club sharing pictures and all that other fun stuff. So we'll create this President's Club group and then you can go through and you can create polls. Where do you guys want to eat tonight? You know, where, where should dinner be? And then people can, can answer the poll. You can encourage people to uh, use this as kind of like your group communication where uh, when we did our group call, uh, our group outing, we went to the Kentucky Derby this year. And so we use this as a way to communicate. We had events, right? So we said at this day, we're going to be doing uh, this thing. On this day, we're going to be doing this. We're going to dinner over here. We're going to be in. And so it was a way for us to organize out our end of year trip that only certain members of the organization were able to uh, attend. And we didn't want to make, we didn't want to kind of annoy people by posting a bunch of pictures of us 
at the Kentucky Derby while they were working. So we created Aviva Engage, which was called Yammer Communities at the time. But you can also do this with like baby showers, with um, surprise parties, with special projects, you know, things that don't really require uh, a f the full functionality of Microsoft Teams because in Microsoft Teams, keep in mind that you do create SharePoint environments, 80 group, like there's a whole nother aspect of the architecture that goes in this, whereas Viva Engage, it's simply an, an area for you to communicate. I will say that in Viva Engage, you can add external members as well. So you could, uh, anybody who has a Microsoft account, you can bring them in. So what we did for our end of year, we actually invited people, people who were outside of our network, uh, outside of our individual uh, Azure Active Directory that just happened to have a Microsoft um, account and we brought them in and we're able to communicate with them. So it's think of it as like a Facebook group or a community similar to that, but it's within Microsoft. Whereas Viva Engage actually got its start as a social media platform. So that is, uh, that is something to consider when you're doing this because Microsoft Teams sometimes is not as, you don't necessarily want to bring people in as a guest user and you don't want, you don't want to go down that whole whole route. Well, here in uh, Viva Engage, you don't necessarily have to do that. So that's how it works, guys. That is Viva Engage. That is some tips and tricks around how to use it. That is how it functions. That is the difference between it and Yammer, which to be honest, it's there's no difference. It's just a new fancy name. Uh, don't, don't listen to all this hype around it. If you weren't using Yammer before, maybe start to take a look at Viva Engage because the fact that they're bringing it into the Viva platform means that they're probably going to have some greater sense for it within the Microsoft 365 environment. So it's worth a look. But guys, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you got a lot out of this. If you have any questions, hit them below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when all of our newest videos go out. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for hanging it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And until next time, we'll see you. Hey there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for all the latest videos from Capital Presence.